pockets. Yeah. You need pockets. <laughs> I told you that you needed pockets. <laughs> I told you that day. Yeah. <laughs> I told you that day that you needed pockets. <laughs> right. And then I said, oh, yeah. well, you should really let's was, invest in pants or pockets or something. Yeah. Right? I was wearing tights. I was wearing tights yesterday and my phone dropped and cracked. And it was yeah. ironic because it was the day. So we had a dog, me. both dogs, and with us. Um, this is Norman. And then Bimo, Bimo, you can't really see Bimo because Bimo. he has to come. <laughs> Okay. So today we're going to talk about pre-release. Uh, pre-release is coming soon. Yeah, Friday. Um, pre-release is Friday from midnight, but normally we go, um, oh yeah, let me hit the tripod, it really close the tripod. Um, we normally go from like 10 o'clock to go to Chili's. Mm -hmm. So have you been to Chili's? I have. I get like fresh fries. Because, you know, I can't so eat much there. This is, what I'm, this is what our traditional thing habit will be. We'll go to Chili's at 10. Mm -hmm. We'll eat at Chili's with like just whoever's there. Yeah. And then there's a Popeyes. Yeah. But I think it closes at like 1 a.m. or something on um, Friday. On Friday. Yeah. Um. So then we get like a bucket of chicken, <laughs> like a ten piece, yeah. bucket, ten piece meal with a gravy. There you go. It and then just eat just it throughout great. the night. <laughs> um. So you've been to the store, right? Yeah. It's the bigger store. The bigger one? Yeah. yeah the okay. bigger store. What do you think about the spacing and? The spacing is nice. Like, if they brought out more tables for pre-release, I think it would be really nice size for that store. Um, it was it was a very nice size store, but it didn't have as many people as the other store that they went to had. Oh, but pre-release is like when all the people come out. So everybody flocks to it. So what do you think about this? That it's Friday at midnight until six a.m. as they event. Six a.m. Do you think that's a good idea or something that's like just terribly? It's just, it has its drawbacks, but also has its pros. Like I can. I do kind of like it, but I think it, I don't know why it has to be at midnight to six. I don't know why. Maybe it can be six to midnight. You know, that would might be a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe it's they're trying to accommodate so are people you, that are um, at work. What is most or... exciting about the pre-release? I since you're a new Magic player, right? You yes. have an interesting perspective of, of about it. About pre-release. Um, what are you expecting to like? What do you expect will be most exciting about the event? Um. I think just the whole experience in general for my first pre-release is just going to be exciting because it's going to be my first one that I get to go to. It's going to be exciting to see what the community is like in my area for Magic. It's going to be nice to see how it does, see what the players are like. And it would be just nice to talk to people, to kind of like interact, kind of just talk to people face to face about, you know, hey, I'm coming back into it. I'm, um, you know, wanting to build this deck, blah, 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 blah. I think it would just be really fun interaction. I think it would just be a fun experience overall for my first time. Yeah, so mm -hmm. how early do you think you're going to leave? So it goes <laughs> until 6 a.m., right? I yes. typically don't stay even if I'm doing well because it's not worth uh -huh. like messing up my sleep schedule that much. Totally. And a lot of people actually mm -hmm. just go there to open some packs mm -hmm. and uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, but it's, a, it's like a traditional event. It happens once every three months, once every new set comes. Oh, okay. Um, so it happens quite often. Mm -hmm. uh, after Saturday, after Friday night, there's a two Saturday ones and then there's two Sunday ones. Oh, I don't so know. Can you imagine doing five of them? No, I wouldn't. I would not be able to. No. So there's but. there's the midnight one and then the, on Friday night, midnight. Yeah. Or I guess Saturday morning midnight. Mm -hmm. Then there's a Saturday at noon. Mm -hmm. Then there's Saturday at five. Ooh. Then there's Sunday at noon, Sunday at five. I always felt it was wow. kind of strange because. They, you, you assume that like there's like nothing to all do. Oh yeah. Yeah, for that weekend there's yeah. no responsibility or anything <laughs> no. like that. And I um, work the weekends, so that wouldn't work yeah, out. Yeah, we work. Well. So actually, on um, the interesting part is Saturday at, they change it to three o'clock. Mm -hmm. We're going to like um, take photos. Oh no, it was, was two thirty, oh. and then they change it to three o'clock. So Saturday is also a day that we're going to take photos. So yeah. we probably will have to leave. Um, Probably, I would say maybe stay for like four hours. Yeah. That's, I think that would be fine. Until four. Yeah, stay until four. Do you want to do the chilies and Popeyes? Well, seeing as I can't eat chicken, I don't want to do the Popeyes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So did you tell people that you were vegan? No. Oh, you didn't tell people that you were because vegan. Because I'm not, okay, well, I'm not really vegan. I'm vegetarian, but I'm lactose intolerant. So I can't so have vegan. like, yeah, so basically <laughs> vegan. But I eat <laughs> eggs. I love eggs. Vegan uh, with eggs. Yeah. No fish. <laughs> vegan with eggs. No, I used to be pescatarian before I went fully vegetarian, but um, no, yeah, I don't fish. Just uh, just tofu and other various Yeah, so we're going to look forward to see some of you there. 
I'm not going to mention the name, but if you follow the channel, it should be pretty obvious where we might be going. Now that can yes. of course change because you know location, location, location. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, anything else that you're really so like you go to pre-release, you get all the new cards. Everyone gets new cards at the same time. Yeah. Um, it's generally a lot of people. It used to be over a hundred people in that small That's room. So nice. But now, like, because people are quitting Magic, it's about yeah. like twenty-five. Yeah. The last one I heard from that place only had eight people. Eight. Yeah, they went from like a hundred and twenty to wow, eight. Wow, that's really um, sad. That is it is sad. sad. Because it's a huge place. It is. It's a huge place. It's a huge place. Like a hundred people in there would be packed. That would be great. That would be absolutely great. And well, then to go down to the next to big event eight. after the pre-release would be like a GP. Mm -hmm. So a GP is like a couple thousand people. Where's that? Just like like those conventions, like yeah, like, it's Vegas? a convention center. Okay. Like, um, yeah, Vegas. Um, okay. When Anime Missouri was doing it, they had like a room upstairs. Mm -hmm. They're a pretty big room. I I normally go there to like sell and trade magic cards. Mm -hmm. I don't really play magic that much anymore. Mm -hmm. That's why like sometimes like I'm like, oh look at this card, it went up in price. <laughs> yeah. And then people are like, this guy doesn't play magic. He only cares about the financial aspect. <laughs> It's Which is important still. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. do you want to shut off the camera and then yeah. we'll make one more and then. Okay. Okay, Norman, get 